back fall without my pistol out. I want to keep my hands forward. They're going to stay in this fight all the way from the standing until I get knocked to the ground. Again, whether I've sh been shoved, whether I've tripped over something as I fell back, the last thing I want to do, I don't want to try to find the ground with my hands. Two reasons for it. One is on your traditional jiu-jitsu or judo, where you come in, dissipate energy, works really good on mats. But if we would do it over here on the concrete, it'd create a whole different type of injury to me. And my hands are out of the fight for, for a quick second. Here, as I fall, eyes towards my threat all the way through, my hands, everything comes in, locks my body, chin down. I start lowering my set, lowering my, my balance or lowering my center of gravity. As it comes down, kick the feet forward towards my suspect. Hands are towards my suspect, ready to get in the fight. If I have to step up from here, I don't want to just get up normally. Notice that now I've put my head in a position to get it kicked off or putting a, a lot more damage to me. As I get up from here, I'm going to make sure that I'm covered all the way up and being able to move quickly. All right, with my whipping out, again, maybe I take some hits to the, to the chest plate, maybe I'll just trip over. What I don't want to happen is as I fall, I don't want this weapon coming away from me. I don't want a laser and anything else. I want to keep it on my threat all the way through here. So as I'm falling, the same thing with my hands is I start bringing it tight to my body. You notice that as I'm going to fall, this gun is going to stay directly in line like this as I fall. One, hands come back, chin down. Two, start finding the ground. Finding the ground, meaning that I'm gonna find it with the big muscles on me, lowering my center of gravity. Three, as I hit, counterbalance with the feet, and you can see that I was on target all time. Standing up from here. One, stand strict to fire. Same principles we had before. Tight to my body, locked in, covering my head. You can see that I can hit this target pretty easily from here. Two, knees straight. Simply rolls under. Puts me in a good shooting platform that I can fire all the way through here. Number three, as I step up, I'm able to step up and come offline to my right, or I'm able to step up, come offline to my left, and fire as I'm moving.